It's a good start, and we, we've got to show the American people it's easier than they think to turn the country around in many ways. And let's start with the lowest bar of all. 30 million workers in this country are making less today than that workers made in 1968, inflation adjusted. These are the workers who clean up after us, grow our food, service in the stores, take care of our ailing grandparents. Just let that figure sink in. These are the workers that are most underemployed, underinsured. Uh, they work in often the most dangerous situations. Uh, they, they don't have unions. And the question is, is our society so inert, is our society so surrendering of any kind of civic sovereignty that we cannot get a minimum wage equal to 1968 that's supported, by the way, by 70 percent of the people, including Rick Santorum and, until last year, uh, Mitt Romney? That's how basic it is. So we have a president uh, saying in 2008, when he was campaigning, he wants 950 by 2011, and uh, now he's down to nine dollars by 2016. Uh, the Democrats are sitting on in inadequate bills in the House and Senate and not really pushing the Republicans. So here's here's what we're trying to do. August is the big recess where the members of Congress go back home. So we want people to get three to 400 signatures on a summons by the people back home, summoning the Congress people and the senators uh, to exclusive town meetings in each district. And those of you who are watching or listening to this program and want to show how to turn this around, it's a great economic stimulus, by the way, to give people who desperately need the necessities of life uh, more money. If you want to take 30 million people up to 1050 an hour, which catches up barely with 1968, even though the worker productivity has doubled, by the way, since then. Just go to timeforarraise.org. Remember, this is—if we cannot do this, it's doubtful we can t change anything in this country.